Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and today we have a brand new video on the Coinbase NFT platform that officially launched today in beta version. There's some really exciting things about this Coinbase platform that I can't wait to get into, but before we get into anything, if you could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton as we're trying to hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers. So if you like NFT related content, you'll be sure to enjoy my channel as I'm constantly posting NFT related videos. Additionally, if you want to go and follow me on Twitter, my Twitter will be linked down below. I've been having so many issues with like impersonators on Twitter. So the more people following me, the better so that hopefully one day Twitter can get their stuff sorted and get me verified or just get the impersonator accounts banned. Now, before we get into anything, this video is actually sponsored by my own NFT course. If you're interested in building your dream NFT project, and want to learn the ins and outs of creating a successful collection definitely check out my nft course below we're nearing a hundred course takers and i've gotten a ton of good reviews which you can view on the website you can also check out every single lesson that is listed within this course as i'm 100 percent transparent with what i teach additionally to taking the course you will be put into the king club on discord where you can personally ask me questions have your projects submitted for the end of my videos and a whole bunch more of awesome features like giveaways and all of that cool stuff the link for the nft course will be down below with that out of the way let's get into this coinbase nft platform review or just overview in general now if you want to go and check out the platform for yourself you will have to join up a whitelist basically you'll submit your email and then once you are in the whitelist you just enter in your code and you will gain access to coinbase nft now unfortunately i submitted my email pretty late so i don't actually have access to the website but i was sent some footage by one of my subscribers so huge shout out to him i'll probably put his twitter link down below so shout out to that guy who had access and he sent me the footage which i'll be showing you on screen right now so once you get accepted into the whitelist you'll be presented with an email that looks similar to this you'll then have to confirm your wallet and then you can create your account one of the cool things about being on this beta list is that there's so many og usernames available so if you can get on that list i highly suggest you do so because you could pick like an og name like joe or bob you know one of those names that are really rare on other social medias and hey if coinbase is a massive platform for nfts in the future you could potentially sell your username so definitely do try and get on that whitelist once you sign up your username and email, you then need to upload a profile picture, your name and bio. You can skip this, but I always suggest just finishing out your account profile. Once you've finished this, you'll need to verify your email. So you'll get sent an email and it's pretty simple. You just click a link and get it verified. And then bam, you'll have full access to NFT, to Coinbase's NFT platform. And you'll notice right off the bat, it is like the web three of instagram it feels very much like a social media compared to platforms like looks rare or OpenSea. it literally feels like you're scrolling through instagram or tiktok even you have a for you page as you can see this discover page right here is your for you page and you can view different social media accounts that look exactly like an instagram and you can check out which nfts they've sold recently what they have in their wallet and their profile picture along with username so it's very much like a regular social media account there's even like followers and following so it's very obvious that coinbase is trying to be like a social media nft platform which i honestly think is the right way for them to go about their platform they had to be unique when creating their marketplace they couldn't just be a carbon copy of OpenSea, because then why would 
anyone ever switch off of OpenSea. And that's exactly what NFT Coinbase understood. And that's why they're completely different. And it's one of the reasons I really enjoy this platform. Additionally, there's absolutely no fees right now on Coinbase NFT platform. This is going to change. It's only for the beta version, I believe. They announced that in the future, there will be a Coinbase fee. But right now, you can list your NFTs for no fees at all, which is just absolutely amazing. And they're doing this to bring in more people to the platform. It's obvious why they're doing this whole promotion of zero fees at the moment, just to get people introduced with the beta version of Coinbase NFT, but it's very smart on their end. And hey, you should definitely take advantage of it while it lasts. Now, if you don't already have a Coinbase account, in the link down in the description, I'll have a link where you can go and set up your account and you'll actually get free Bitcoin when you register using that link. I believe it's like $10 or something. It's not a crazy amount, but hey, it's free. So you might as well sign up with it. There's a trending tab as well. And this just showcases all of the biggest trending collections. As you can see, Moonbirds is at the top. I figured this would be a feature on their marketplace and it looks really clean. And I feel like that's a common theme amongst this entire website is that everything is very clean. There's a lot of good white space and I know it would flow very well on mobile. Although I didn't test this website out on mobile, it's very clearly optimized for it. And I think they knew that when they were integrating these social media aspects, they knew that people were going to mainly be using this application on their mobile devices. You can also view the shop tab, which just has a bunch of random different NFTs that are listed and that you can purchase very similarly to uh, a platform like OpenSea. Now there are some features I would like to see like the activity tab on OpenSea. I believe OpenSea has a lot more features than Coinbase NFT does, but I think it's a good start so far for their platform as it is only in beta version. I've seen some criticism of it on Twitter, but I've also seen a lot of good feedback like the Castle Kids explaining how they're already verified on Coinbase NFT compared to OpenSea where they've been waiting forever or the compliments on the commenting feature which just adds to the social media aspects as you can see you can comment on people's NFTs now this I think is going to be a big issue when people start undercutting their end NFTs. I could see the comment section getting incredibly toxic. So although I think it's a cool feature, I'm not sure they're going to keep it around once things get very toxic in the space because as you all know, the NFT space can be one of the most toxic communities at times. And I think adding that comment section is just going to add fuel to the fire. As you can see, this Twitter user named Cross has shared his experiences on the platform and these are the comments he's already getting. Imagine dropping out of college and spending your last 25000 on this worthless JPEG down atrocious and mace more like you need to mace some friends loser and then someone commented ugly. So the toxicity is already rampant on the platform and i believe it's only going to get worse so i can definitely see them removing this feature within the near future but yeah guys i think that's going to conclude my overview of the new coinbase platform some really exciting things from it and i like how they are trying to be different by being the first like web 3 social media platform they have the resources to do it but let's see how it turns out let's see how the community responds to this and let's see what updates they bring once it's out of beta version i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section do you you enjoy this platform are you going to be using it are you going to stick with OpenSea? let me know your thoughts in the comment section below with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video and have yourselves a fantastic day peace see ya later thank you for watching the video
change the